Before getting started, I would like to thank Tyler, Steve, and the rest of the team with Norwood Community Television for giving us this opportunity to speak to you, the citizens of Norwood. I'm Joe Gears, and I am running for President of Council. Whether you are viewing this on cable TV or NCT's YouTube channel or on their Facebook page, thank you for taking the time to learn about those interested in serving you, the citizens of Norwood. Experience, fairness, and dedication. If I had to identify characteristics that make me the most qualified candidate for the position of President of Council, these are the top three. Before I dive into each of those characteristics, though, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Joe Gears, and I am one of your candidates for President of Council. I was born and raised in Norwood, and my wife Kate and I live on Kenilworth with our three children, Allison, who attends University of Dayton, Emily, who attends Miami University, and Joseph, who attends St. Xavier High School. I'm a graduate of Purcell Marion High School and hold a Bachelor of Science degree in Public Administration and a Master's degree in Executive Leadership and Organizational Change, both from Northern Kentucky University. Professionally, I'm the manager of a training and quality control at a local hospital and have served in that capacity for over five years. I have also spent about 10 years working in human resources. For 20 years, I was chairman of the booth sponsors at Holy Trinity Festival. I performed in their annual variety show for over 20 years. I served as the treasurer and president of St. Nicholas Academy's parent teacher organization. And for the last 30 years, I have served as a parade marshal with the Norwood Day Parade helping to put parade units in order along Ashland Avenue. And now onto some explanation of those three characteristics I mentioned earlier. Experience. I was the former Ward 3 Councilman from 2004 to 2005. During that time, I was chairperson of the Streets, Infrastructure, and Public Works Committee, and I was also a member of the Health and Human Resources Committee. I am currently the Clerk of Council. This is my fourth term, although not consecutive, serving the city and the citizens of Norwood in this capacity. My current term began in 2022. I also served as clerk of council from 2012 to 2013 and 2016 to 2019. As a clerk of council, I am present at every regular and special council meeting, literally sitting to the right of the president of council. I call the roll on every vote that takes place during council meetings I write the official minutes of the meetings, I certify ordinances and resolutions, and I have made several points of clarification to make sure all legislative steps are followed during the meetings, as well as adherence to the agenda. If you visit the Norwood channel on YouTube and watch any council meeting from this year, you can see me in action to get an idea of the work I do during city council meetings. I'm familiar with the standing rules of council, which are the rules that govern how city council operates. Anything that is not directly mentioned in these rules of council follow Robert's rules of order. I have worked with previous councils to rewrite and edit portions of the standing rules of council. These rules are presented and approved at the January 1st council meeting. The president, president of council needs to know how the rules work, and I do. With the current president of council transitioning to a different elected position within the city, we need a new president of council who has the experience needed to hit the ground running on January 1st, 2024. Fairness. As the clerk of council, I have supported and worked with elected officials of both political parties in a way that is professional and unbiased. I have worked with Democratic and Republican mayors, treasurers, auditors, and members of council. I have also worked closely with the two previous Republican presidents of council. It has been an honor to work with all of these elected officials, regardless of their political affiliation. During my tenure as clerk of council, there is nothing in the communications that I have sent to any elected officials in Norwood that led them to know my political, my local political stance. I accurately represent their comments and votes in meeting minutes, and I respond to all of their requests with the same manner of urgency and respect, no matter their political party. 
As a president of council, I will continue to practice and display this same level of fairness. Dedication. There are two individuals in the clerk of council's office, the clerk of council and the secretary to the clerk of council. In the event the secretary to the clerk of council is sick, on vacation, or resigns, it falls upon the clerk of council to make sure the office remains open, that emails are checked, meetings are posted, and requested copies of ordinances are provided. Whenever the clerk of council's office has been short-staffed at various times, I would take paid time off from my full-time job and could be found regularly working in City Hall, making sure meeting agendas were created, posted, and communicated, that council packets were printed and scanned and distributed, creating and communicating committee agendas, advertising recently passed ordinances and resolutions, also certifying ordinances and resolutions that have been passed and posted, and making sure council chambers are set up and ready to go for meetings the second and fourth Tuesdays of the month. On numerous occasions, I have done the job for two people, and when appointed in 2022, I accepted the same rate of pay from when I was first appointed to the position in 2012. Recently, the position of secretary to the clerk of council and the HR administrative support position were merged into a full-time position, supporting both areas. I partnered with the president of council, the HR director, and the safety service director to help navigate the possibility of a shared role. As we are onboarding the latest person to move into this shared position, I look forward to working with her and with the NORCOM group to return to civic clerk for the posting of meeting agendas, ordinances, resolutions, and other meeting items. I also plan on working with council to have this new paperless process documented in the standing rules of council, making sure that this format has the support and backing of members of council. The president of council not only presides over regular and special council meetings, they also attend the Financial Recovery Supervision Commission meetings regarding Norwood being in fiscal emergency, vote, in, vote at council meetings in the event of a tie, and in limited circumstances may also serve as the acting mayor. I will treat the position of president of council with the same level of, of dedication as I have with any other position I have held with Norwood City Council, being respectful of those I am serving and transparent in all practices and processes. In closing, I would like to once again thank Norwood Community Television for this opportunity, and I look forward to meeting many of you while on the campaign trail. While I am asking for you to vote gears for President of Council, I am also asking you to re-elect Keith Moore as Law Director, vote for Emily Franzen, Susan Hoover, and Alexis Royce for Council at Large, vote for Sam Bowling in Ward 1, re-elect Candace Winterbauer in Ward 2, and vote for Jeff Gurton in Ward 3. Thank you for watching, and when you are in the voting booth, go with experience, go with fairness, go with dedication, and go with gears for President of Council on Tuesday, November 7th. Thank you.